Hey everybody, Rocks and Box of 90 here, back with part two of our Modern Masters 2 speculation. And we're going to talk about the rares that I can see specking on for Modern Masters 2, things that will likely be printed in Modern Masters 2 with some of the reasons why. Last time we did focus on mythics and we talked about the lands, the fetch land potential and my disbelief in that. And this time we're going to delve into the rares. So first I'll start out with rares that were in Modern Masters 1 that I think do still see a chance of being reprinted for the same reasons that I mentioned Vendillion Cleek and Dark Confidant and the like will probably be reprinted in Modern Masters 2. Starting out with Cryptic Command. So this follows, the reason why the mythics from Modern Masters 1 will probably be reprinted in Modern Masters 2 is because Modern Masters 2 will probably end up being a Modern Masters 1.5 or 1.75. And the reason that is is because Modern Masters 1 was a huge chunk of Modern. A lot of the big cards were printed and I don't see them having 15 new Mythics that would effectively fill out the Mythic curve. Rares, most of the time, We've had quite a few good rares that have been printed since Modern Masters 1 and will probably be all the way until Modern Masters 2. We have realized we still have at least three sets until that happens, and there could be quite a few good modern cards, especially with Wizards being mindful that modern will probably be a very consistent format for the going future. It's going to be something that's going to be going all the time. They really have to support it. Modern Masters 2, by the time it comes around, may have more than enough rares to deal with it. But here's a couple who I think could still be printed in Modern Masters 2. And that is Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command was actually a $20 card. I traded for my three or four that I needed for different decks and cube when they were about between somewhere between 20 and 30. Now you'd be lucky to find the lowest would be in the 40s. And this is even after the reprint. Of modern masters which means that the spike the price has spiked up has shot up and it's probably not going to go down anytime soon this is also not a card i likely see being reprinted in a standardized set because of just how ridiculous it is a modern blue devotion does not need any help thank you this card would be so broken and unfair i doubt wizards would be doing that while theros is in standard so don't expect to see this printed in a standard set modern masters 2 though probably wouldn't smash the price too much but people really need, would need it to get the hands on, their hands on them blood moon is another card that shot up it's not crazy expensive and it was printed in the first one i think more by accident i don't think blue moon was even a deck when that was happening so it was more by happenstance than by prediction but now we know that Blue Moon, Blood Moon is probably going to be a consistent staple in Modern for the future. This card really could use a con another reprint, if only to keep the price from going up to $30 to $40, which I could see it doing in the next 6 to 12 months. Last up, we have Arcbear Ravager. This card doesn't need to be reprinted, I don't think. I mean, it's made, mainly used in Affinity, and that's its bulk place. But that being said, I could see it being reprinted. Um, if only to enable an artifact theme if they want to do something like that. If they want to have artifacts in Modern Masters 2 like they had in 1. Now let's jump into the new cards. The ones that haven't been printed in Modern Masters 1 that I think would be very good in Modern Masters 2 or have a place. Landwise, we had Glimmer Void last time was our big non-basic land. I think Grove of the Broom Willows is up for a reprint. It dropped down a little bit when Punishing Fire was gotten rid of. But now it's been slowly creeping up and rising and now it's in the 30s, 40s. This card could definitely use reprint, even with the print in the, from the vault. Not enough was printed to damage the price. I think they could bring it back and it still wouldn't damage the price. Then Ink Moth Nexus has been rising slowly. The average price is 10 bucks now. It was down to 5 for a while. 10 I could see it doubling in another year. And then being a really sought after card. Blink Moth Nexus we already knew was a major sought after card. And the reprint brought it down to this price, which is still pretty high. It's still higher than Ink Moth. So I could see them doing Ink Moth no problem. Birthing Pod's really not that expensive right now. You can get them for about 10 bucks, and even less if you want to play it. But seriously, Birthing Pod is a major staple in Modern. Even if it's not always the highest tier deck, it's definitely a major player in the format long term. I could see it rising in price over the next year for sure. Be a good card to print. And the Phyrexian Mana symbols will not be coming back in a standard set anytime soon. Same thing with Spell Skite. This is an expensive card that sideboards into almost every modern deck ever. Needs to be reprinted at some point with Phyrexian Mana. Modern Masters 2 would be the big place to do it. 
Noble Hierarch, this card is way too expensive for what it is, and it really is just because they have none of them out there. There's no printings. If you want a poor version, you'll get it for 40s, maybe if you're lucky, 50s. 60s is the real value we're talking about here, and there's really no printing of it. So either this card they theoretically could bring back, but Exalted is not going to likely come back anytime soon. We just had it in 2013, and it wasn't didn't kick off such popularity for Exalted any more to bring it back in a standard set. So I find it unlikely they'll bring Noble Hierarch back. Modern Masters 2 is a perfect place for it. Snapcaster Mage is amazing and is actually, I would say, at around 30 bucks, is pretty low for what he is. He's going to be a major player long term in literally every single format he's allowed in. If they bring him back in standard, which they could to help create a price, he's going to affect standard for the entire time he's in it. Not a good idea. Modern Masters would limit his supply, but would still help keep his cost a little bit down and reasonable. Abrupt Decay right now doesn't need it, but in a year from now, this card may be up to already 20 bucks. And as a major staple card, it might be worth a reprint, um, but it could come back in any set, so I don't think it needs to be Modern Masters too. Fulminator Mage, this card came out of nowhere. It was a junk for a little while, junk card, and is now over 40 bucks. It is incredibly expensive. It's not even such an amazing card. I think they could just just stick it in for the sake of bringing down the price. There's only one printing of it. Splinter Twin, major staple, major deck. It's actually lower now. It used to be in the high 20s. Now it's down to teens, which is pretty good if you want to get yours. It's a reasonable price for it, but I could see them bringing it back. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Phantasmal Image. This card has been creeping up slowly. I see it rising and rising. It's sad because I remember these were two bucks, three bucks at one point. I could have just stacked up on them. They're definitely going to be rising in the long-term future. I could see it being a twenty-dollar card, fifteen to twenty-dollar card, no problem. Uh, and by the time next year, could be a card for Modern Masters too, to bring back. Daybreak Coronet. This card is huge, and the fact that it's such a funky card for Future Sight is really be. It would be a little awkward to bring it into another enchantment set since we just had Theros. Very unlikely. Modern Masters that would get away with it. Thalia, legendary creature that is almost never going to come back in the standard set, at least not for a very long time. Only place to really bring her back and help deflate. Well, her cost's not so high now, but the foils are high. And I can see her being a 10 buck card next by this time next year. She is a, a really good card in Hate Bears and, it, yeah, and even in Zoo. Gadok T also been slowly rising. There's only one printing of him. He's not a huge player in modern, but again, by this time next year, when modern is going to be played a lot over the next year, he's potentially going to rise up to 15, 20 bucks. Legendary also Kithkin makes him a little awkward to bring back. Counterbalance. This card's not even so expensive nor so high, but it is does see play in a legacy a lot, and it does see play a little bit in modern. I could see it being brought back for the sake of it being a interesting card without top being in the modern format though wizards may just say what the heck we don't need this here and not bring it back and actually it isn't uncommon now that i think about it so it shouldn't really be on this list but um yeah it's unlikely damnation this is a major staple this would be a card that they should bring back if only for the sake of having it modern it's been creeping up in modern but if you want to use it in formats you need to have two to four of them and they're becoming very expensive this card needed reprint. It wasn't in from the Vault Annihilation, which is good and bad. It's good it keeps the cost down. It's bad that we don't get it. They should bring it back, even if they want to keep it in a limited set. Crucible of Worlds. This card is pretty cool. We just had a foil uh, the other year, and there hasn't been a lot of printings of it. Good card for modern. I'd bring it back if it was me. And then Goblin Guide. Major Zoo staple. <laughs> major staple in just about every format. Amazing, amazing card. Very, it's becoming more and more expensive, and now it's up to 15 bucks. I can see it being 20 bucks, 25 bucks, no problem. In the next year, they'll probably want to bring it back for aggro. Birds of Paradise, well, that's not the right price, but anywhere from three to five to six, it depends on what you're looking at. But birds aren't that expensive, but I could see it as a staple card they would just put in because why not? But then again, it could be in a core set also. It doesn't really matter. It could be in modern. And then Restoration Angel, they're probably not going to bring it into, but the effect is ridiculously powerful, and they'll probably not bring it back anytime in the near future, except maybe in Modern Masters when the price goes up. And Steel Overseer, this will round out our list. Steel Overseer has been creeping up slowly. There's only one printing, two printings, but really only one because this was very rare. So one printing 
for now it's 11 bucks it's going to keep rising with affinity and other things i definitely think they need to consider if they have an artifact theme this would be a card to bring back into the into modern masters 2 so that's a lot of rares and a lot of good cards I could potentially see coming back in Modern Masters 2. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about it, though. Do you agree with me on the bringing back reprints? Do you, What do you think of the single tins that I picked out? Do you agree, disagree? Did I miss any? Love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button if you're new to the channel. Check in and subscribe. As always, Rocks the Box and 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.